Now let's assemble the CAN components to our launch mechanism. To start with, we're going to add the axle for the cams to mount to. There will be a cam placed on each side to drive the springs back. The axle will go all the way through the launch chamber. So we'll align the axle to the hole in the launch chamber. And then we'll mate, uh, we'll just create an offset mate from the end of the pin to the side of the launch chamber, uh, just to ensure some clearance there. Now that that's in position, let's go ahead and add our first cam on this side. So in the preview window, you can rotate by clicking and dragging to get it in an orientation close to what you want it to be in the assembly. Then when you drag it in, we just simply create a alignment between the shaft and the hole and align the flats to each other to key them together. And then we need to mate the boss on the cam to the side of the launch chamber. Now to retain the cam on the shaft, we need to add a cutter pin. This cutter pin has been taught how to be placed, so all we need to do is click targets. So the hole in the end of the pin is the target and also the diameter of the pin to lock it into position. Now we need a cam on the opposite side, but we want to add a few components to it first. So we can pull things from the library, but if it's already in the assembly, we can pull directly from Pathfinder. Next thing I want to do is add a gear. A gear is what's going to drive the cams. So let's go ahead and rotate the gear into position, drag it into the assembly, and create a relationships. I'm just going to mate the face to the boss, align the hole to the center hole, and then align one of the mounting holes. And that will be enough to lock those two together. Now to complete the assembly, to hold those together, we need some mounting screws. We have some very long M4 mounting screws that we're going to use. This has also been taught. It knows to align to a hole and also to the point of the countersink. And we'll do the same thing. We'll drag in a second one. Use the same relationships to place it. Now we're ready to put the cam into position on the other side of the launch chamber. So we'll run the assemble command again and we'll select the face of the mounting boss, put it on the side, the opposite side of the chamber, mate those together, and then align the center hole of the cam to the axle. We also need to align the flat, so we'll run the assemble command again on the uh, cam, and we'll find the face of the flat in the hole, and align it to the axle, the flat on the axle. And now those cams are timed together using that, those flats. I'm going to temporarily hide the chamber so we can see what's going on. And I'm also going to turn on the small gear that's actually driving this with a little motor. So it's a 18 tooth pinion gear. And we'll need to activate that so we can create a relationship between the two gears. And let's start with, uh, let's go ahead and add our pin here. We forgot to add our cotter pin to lock this into position so it can't fall off. So we'll lock that in like we did the other side. Now as we rotate this around, we can see our gears are interfering with each other. And I'm just going to manually rotate these to get them close uh, to looking like they're meshing. And this is just for the assembly purposes. They're not actually going to be uh, meshing. So we'll just get them close. Now we're ready to add our gear relationship between those two gears. And we'll just create a new relationship. And we're going to do this, instead of using a ratio, we're going to use the teeth to determine the ratio. So we know that the larger one is 48 teeth and the smaller one is 18. And we just simply select the center points or center lines basically of the two gears. You can see they're turning in opposite directions, which is what we want. And now if we use the drag component command, we can simulate the motion. So as I rotate this around, I can just keep going around and you can see it's going to drive that cam uh, in a circle. 
all the way around 360 degrees and it'll just keep on spinning. All right, so let's just move it into this position. And next thing I want to do is create a tangent relationship between the pin, which is obviously driving the plunger. And we're going to create a tangent between the pin and the face of the gear. Okay, that curved profile. So it'll snap up against that and you'll see the springs will adjust to the correct position. And now let's go ahead and turn on all of the components for the launch assembly here, the launch chamber assembly. Let's go ahead and hide the motor so we can see the small gear again. And again, we can use the drag component command to simulate how this is going to work. So I'm just going to rotate the, uh, the small gear based on the center line of the gear. And as I rotate that, what you're going to see is when I stop, it'll, it'll simulate until I stop the rotation and then the springs will adjust to the location. So let's go to the full uh, retracted position of the springs, the full forward position of the plunger. So you'll see those springs will update, so that's when they're completely uh, retracted. And then let's go ahead and move it to part way. Go ahead and let it update. So you can see that's halfway back. And then let's go ahead and extend it all the way out to the full uh, extended position, with the springs all the way extended. And so you can see how this mechanism works. So this completes the design of our ping pong ball launcher using the cam to actually drive the plunger back and release it over and over and over again to continually shoot those ping pong balls. Ping pong balls will be loaded into the chamber. And we actually have a little video that I created uh, to see how this works in slow motion. So as the cam rotates, the plunger is being pulled back. The next ball falls into the chamber. As it continues to pull back, the ball will drop back to where it is seated in a, a small counterbore inside the chamber. And then the pin is released releasing the ball. So that completes the design uh, for the launch mechanism.